Hello guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. October 12th, that means that we are about uh, two weeks into the game. And uh, I thought, well, let's have a look what happened uh, meanwhile. Well, as you can already see, credits 24 million. That is uh, what we have. Other than that, uh, we're in a Porsche 356 Coupe, which is uh, today's car. If you look on the map, it is all white, because we are, uh, meanwhile, in the third season from Horizon Life. We started in summer, last week it was autumn, and yesterday the whole thing switched to winter time. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be playing around in ice and snow for the next 7 days. Uh, other than that, the whole map is full of events and they are all uh, with a gold line around it or in gold or stuff like that. Because yeah, I have done every single event. Uh, there are some of these red things which are seasonal events. And uh, probably linked here and there with like uh, some of the uh, rewards that you might get. Talking about rewards, we'll talk about that. Houses. Uh, if I put the filter on the houses. No. I have to put the filter off first. There we go. Filter on the houses and then you will see uh, a gold patch thing around all of them all of the houses are owned and uh, meanwhile also Bamberg Castle and Edinburgh Castle so all of the 12 player houses are in my uh, property cars um, what did I buy if we go look in the auto show then uh, we pretty much can narrow it down to uh, a couple and I'm thinking uh, where we have to start somewhere in the middle I think McLaren the McLaren Senna 1 million credits that thing cost uh, I did buy that because yeah as far as I know you cannot win that anywhere not from campaign not from a wheel spin so uh, those kind of cars you need to buy but as you can see I also own the 570 and the 650s those I did not buy, those came from a wheel spin. So, the Senna, that is one car that I bought, so that's why about 1 million that I spent. Um, all the rest here, 730,000 for a Nissan R390. And the reason I bought that is um, pretty simple, because I wanted the uh, GTR LM. 1995 Forza edition and that thing is in that car so if you buy this Nissan R390 and you go into the mastery perk tree of that car here of this Nissan 390 you will find uh, the Forza edition of the GTR R33 LM so that's 1.7 million uh, and then we are almost there meaning money that I've spent on buying cars a 20,000 Volkswagen Corrado. The simple reason I bought that thing is I needed a retro hot hatch for the first weekly challenge uh, available in the Forzaton two weeks ago. So I bought this thing. So 1,750,000 credits I spent on three cars. Now let's have a look in the garage itself. My cars. Uh, I think about 320 are currently in the garage. And they all come from uh, wheel spins and such things. So uh, we're quickly going to go over them. Uh, but at first, we'll do the DLC car so that you can stop, uh, skip those uh, in the. Uh... You have the um, James Bond pack, which are uh, 10 cars, as you can see. James Bond edition it is even called, it's more or less uh, marked as a brand itself. And those are then those 10 cars here. Those come. Uh, with that, uh, it's part of the VIP. The same goes for the uh, Formula Drift, as it's called. That's uh, more or less the name of the brand. 
and it comes with uh, seven cars. Couple of Nissan 240s, different years, 95, 96, 97. BMW, uh, a Dutch Viper, Ford Mustang. We playing around with all of them. Some people like some of these 240s. I don't. I don't find them go sideways enough. Uh, I have several personal records on drift zones uh, with the Dutch Viper. The only one that is more or less uh, usable. But that being said, uh, yeah, there are other cars out there. If you build those into a uh, drift build, you're gonna improve the scores. And then uh, we have the uh, car pack which normally was eight cars a month uh, they sort of split it up now and you get like two cars uh, every week uh, it started off with the uh, Agera RS and the Triumph 3B I think yep that thing here with it together with the uh, Agera RS and then uh, in the second week it was the uh, Mazda RX-7 Spirit R-Type A and the uh, Nissan Sentra Nismo that was uh, last week now we are in winter season and uh, we got today the Porsche 959 uh, rally rate and also uh, the uh, more or less coupe version of the Speedster that we had in Horizon 3 the 356 uh, 1600 Super 1959 the uh, Speedster that we have in the game is 1956 if I'm not mistaken then we have two more to come uh, next week when it's spring uh, on Thursday and then on the day be after that on Friday we will get the uh, Honda Civic Global Rallycross GRC in other words and the um, BMW i8 Roadster that will be for uh, the month of October uh, I'm assuming I don't know how long it's gonna take but probably uh, two or three months or maybe I think in Forza Horizon 3 it was like um, from October till March or something that you could like get car packs but I don't know how many of those uh, will be uh, in the VIP edition. At least 8 for October and we will see uh, if it goes on in November. I'm assuming it will be. So those are like uh, the DLC cars in a way. And then uh, the 3 that I bought. But nevertheless I still have 300 in the garage. Um, we have a Bart. 124 Spider, 695 Biposto, the Fiat 131 and the uh, old 595 uh, SESC uh, all wheel spins all come from wheel spins uh, you can also most of them uh, as far as I know can buy them in the auto shop Acura uh, same story I got the NSX RSX Integra wheel spin they can get them there uh, you can also get them in the auto show so uh, not really uh, something special there yeah come with two Alfa Romeo uh, a bit of a different story we have uh, the Giulia Quadrifoglio. Uh, as far as I know, you can buy that one. What you definitely cannot buy is the uh, Quadrifoglio Forza Edition, which comes with an Im event influence boost. If you want to get uh, more influence, more XP to level up faster, then uh, you can use that thing in the events. Uh, it will not help you in free roam in any way. You need to do events. Alfa Romeo 4C is a uh, normal wheel spin. The 8C competition only Forza edition is uh, from the wheel spins as well and uh, it comes with a credit boost so if you want more credits you better use that car. Uh, there was a glitch going on as you know uh, probably by now 50 laps on Goliath uh, well people call it the Goliath glitch but it's not the Goliath glitch it was an event glitch you can do it in every single event basically you go in with two people and uh, one guy leaves the lobby and the other guy will get all the money if you have made a blueprint for 50 laps on Goliath for instance that's why people call it the Goliath glitch because that was the most interesting track to do it on you could get like uh, using this car you could get uh, almost 6 million in about 30 seconds because uh, one guy left the lobby and the other guy get 6 million about a million influence 35 wheel spins in about 30 seconds there has been a first patch uh, I think two days ago or so and today uh, when I came online I saw there was a 400 megabytes pads I'm assuming they uh, at least are trying to patch it but it might take uh, a couple of steps Alfa Romeo P3 1934 that thing is worth 10 million uh, but yeah you more or less pay for it because uh, if you buy the Edinburgh castle which costs you 15 million you get this car to come with the castle so uh, in a way the castle costs 5 million and the other 10 million is uh, the value of this car 
the class 10 uh, Alumi Craft. I have the normal one from the wheel spin, and I also have the fourth edition from a wheel spin. It comes with uh, destruction skills. Couple of AMCs. Uh, I think you can even buy those in the auto show, but I want everything that you see here. I've shown it, uh, I bought three cars, all the rest is from wheel spins or from uh, campaign stuff. The Aerial Nomad is uh, somewhere on the wall. Uh, let's have a look, where I, uh, where did I get that thing? Uh, somewhere, from somewhere in a, in a wheel spin I think. By uh, the looks of it. The Atom 500 V is uh, linked to PR stunts. Uh, I think it's speed zones for this one. If you get all the speed zones at uh, 3 stars, you will get this thing. The DB4 Zagato is a barn find. Uh, all of these Audis here, the uh, R8, uh, 4.2, the TTS Coupe, uh, the R8 5.2, 2010 TTS uh, RS. Uh, also these all here are uh, wheel spins. The Sport Quattro is uh, a barn find. So uh, nothing special here, although this R8 is considered to be a legendary car, uh, not so sure why. It was a pre-order car in 3, but uh, other than that. All wheel spins, except for the uh, Sport Quattro, which is a barn find. Austin Healy, both of them wheel spins, I think you can even buy them in the auto show. The BAC Mono, um, gotta come from a wheel spin, seeing I didn't buy it. It is uh, a contender in S2 though. So uh, that is something to take in consideration. The Bentley, uh, the Bentaya I want from a wheel spin. The Continental GT Speed uh, Forza Edition I bought for 300 Forza Ton points uh, for in the first Forza Ton, the first week. But you can also get it from a wheel spin. The 4.5 liter supercharged 1931 Bentley is another car of 10 million. Uh, and that is basically what you pay for when you buy Bamberg Castle. When you buy Bamberg Castle, you get an additional barn find, and that is the thing that you will find there. So, uh, in a way, yeah, you get a castle if you buy this car, or you get, or you buy the castle and get this car, whatever you wanna, however you wanna see it. BMW, uh, the M4 GTS is a wheel spin. The M2 as well, X6 as well, uh, Z4 as well. This is all, uh, all wheel spins, uh, as far as I know. The Forza Edition, uh, that might be a super wheel spin. Uh, I think these uh, Forza editions are only in the super wheel spins, but I'm not 100% sure though. All these uh, M5, 2009 and so on, uh, all uh, wheel spins. The M3 2005 uh, is not a wheel spin. It's also linked to the uh, to the 3 star uh, stunts. Uh, probably Danger Sign or Speed Trap for this one. You have the Aerial, you have the BMW, and uh, later on we will see the Noble, uh, which those three cars are linked to the uh, PR stunts. Uh, the rest is uh, wheel spins, and probably the M5 Forza Edition is a super wheel spin. If you buy the Castles, uh, you get five, uh, 10 wheel sp super wheel spins, so uh, yeah, those, that's where those things come from. Uh, that is also a wheel spin, the 2002. The Bowler is uh, also linked to something. Uh, let me have a look to be sure. Can't immediately see it, so uh, I'm guessing it's just a wheel spin. Okay. Uh, this is also a wheel spin, the Buick Cadillac uh, ATS CTS wheel spins, uh, and there is also an XTS limousine, uh, which you can find in the wheel spins as well. Then we come to uh, Chevrolet. Most of them are wheel spins, so I'm just gonna pick out uh, the ones which are not uh, normal wheel spins. This Colorado uh, ZR2 is um, this week's Porsche-ton reward. First week it was a 2019 Porsche GT3. Last week it was the Ferrari 812 Superfast. This week it's a pickup Chevrolet Colar Colorado. Um, the rest is all wheel spins, uh, as far as I know. All the Corvettes from all different years. The Monte Carlo Supersport uh, comes from the story. And uh, more specifically um, from La Racer at Horizon story. If you complete that uh, 10 chapters, 3 stars each. 30 stars in other words, you get this thing. 
The Camaro Z28 1979. Um, it's wheel spin, but uh, you cannot buy it in the auto show. So uh, in a way, it's, although it says common, it's not that common because you need to get it uh, from the wheel spins. The rest, uh, the older Corvettes and Cal Camino, Chevelle, uh, as far as I know, you can buy that. The Nova Super Sports Forza Edition comes with speed skills, uh, it's obviously wheel spin. All the Forza editions you cannot buy, so. Um, and the rest, uh, the same story. I think you can buy uh, most of these in the auto show. Another, the normal new uh, Nova, a bunch of Corvettes, and so on. Datsun, definitely a wheel spin because we never buy that thing. The Challenger Demon is again uh, a story line and uh, more specifically the stunt driver story. If you get 30 stars in that thing, you will get this one. This is wheel spin. Uh, the Viper ACR 2016 is a uh, wheel spin. The 1999 uh, is also a wheel spin. Uh, but I'm looking here. Should be able to uh, get it in a wheel spin. Don't see it anywhere special here. So, uh, 2013, 2015 Charger. A couple of older Challenger and Chargers. 70s and 1969. Donker Voort, also uh, wheel spin. Ferrari 812 Super Fast uh, comes from the Forzaton from last week. Uh, I bought two, one for X-Class and one for S2, as you can see. And then we come to uh, yeah, a few expensive wheel spins. Pretty much uh, comes down to that. But uh, none of them are uh, not available. I think you can just buy them in the auto show. So uh, I don't have uh, anything special about it. So nope. You can in theory win them all in uh, a wheel spin. And uh, that is also what happened to me. California T. Uh, not that uh, big of a deal. F12 Berlinetta. 448. But for instance the Enzo. 2.8 million won in a wheel spin. F50 GT. 1.2 million won in a wheel spin. 575 Maranello, 512 Testarossa, 288 GTO, 3.1 million, also one in a wheel spin. Same goes for the Dino and the 365. Fiat 124 Spider, uh, wheel spin, but you can also get it in the auto show. The Ford 2018 Mustang, uh, nothing special about it. You can buy it in the auto show. 2017 Ford GT, uh, Auto show and wheel spin, but I got it from the wheel spin. Uh, the F-150 Raptor comes... Um, if you played Forza Horizon 3, uh, you get this thing if you uh, arrive in the game here. Then you will actually uh, get this one. The uh, Rockstar, uh, let me have a look. It's not on my list here from not available. So, in theory, you should be able to buy this thing in uh, the wheel spin, uh, in the auto show. But you can also get it from a wheel spin. Same goes for the Falcon, the Focus, the FPV, uh, the Fiesta. The Transit Super Sport Van Forza Edition uh, is something you get in your garage if you have the VIP pack. Uh, it's sort of a reward for play, uh, for starting the game and buying the VIP pack. You get uh, three Forza editions, the Transit is one of them. This thing is a bit of a trolling van, uh, if you tune it to S2 or even in X-Class you can win races with it. You're up against supercars, but V12... Lamborghini engine in it and it goes like crazy. Um, the rest is uh, wheel spin. This uh, F-150 2011 version um, you cannot buy in the auto show. So uh, it is a non Forza edition car but uh, it is only available in the wheel spins. Which in a way already makes it something you need to get it, right? You can of course look in the auto show, uh, things like this might, uh, in the auction house, things like this might be available. Some of these cars which you can only get on the wheel spins will not be available unless, because people are stocking them till they are legendary painter and they can ask 20 million for it. That's how uh, business goes in the auction house. The Transit, uh, that's the uh, yeah, same as the other one, uh, but the other one is the Forza Edition, this is the normal one. A Focus, the uh, SVT Cobra. Uh, nothing special about it, you can buy it, at least this 2013, uh, 2000 version, but the 1993 is one which you cannot buy, you can only get it from wheel spins, so uh, that makes it already a bit more special than the, the other one. The Escort is uh, one of the starter cars in the Dirt series, the Shera is uh, wheel spin, Fiesta, 
The RS200 Evolution is uh, the first car that you get if you go through the uh, more or less 20 levels of dirt racing. This is the first one uh, that you get. The Escort RS Turbo is a barn find. This is a uh, wheel spin. The Capri is uh, not that uh, important. You can win it from a wheel spin. Uh, there's also a Forza edition of this car and that is a bit of a different story because that seems to be a little bit non-existent at the moment. That means it's not available in the auction show for sure. I've seen it's a Forza edition. Uh, you cannot get it from wheel spins, so uh, it's not a barn find. Uh, it's not. People have been looking all over the place. It's not uh, in the mastery trees of the perks. Uh, so yeah, I am not 100% sure where it is. There's one possibility. Uh, we know that there is one barn find missing, meaning uh, next week's spring barn find, and that uh, will bring us a Ford GT, an older Ford GT. There's a possibility that in the mastery perk tree of that barn find that you will find the fourth edition of this uh, car. So uh, people are more or less waiting on that. If not, then uh, there's only one other choice and that is that it's not in the game yet. Uh, and that it will be uh, in a Forza ton or something where you can get it. But there's also the possibility that it will be in the uh, mastery. I will show you that uh, later in one of the other cars. What I ex exactly mean by a mastery if you're not... Uh, familiar with it. The rest is all uh, wheel spins as far as I know. Even that Mustang Mach 1. The 1972 Falcon is um, coming from somewhere. This is uh, the Forza edition of that thing. Which of course the Forza edition you cannot get. Uh, but the other one I think you can get. Uh, although it says here um, this is the XA. There is also a 1973 uh, XB Falcon. And that one, that one you cannot get in the auto show. So that one is all, all only uh, available from wheel spins. But uh, as you can see, that's one of those cars that I don't have yet. The 1969 Mustang Bus is... Um, let me think. It's the Drift Club uh, reward. If you go to the story mission of the uh, Drift Club, that's uh, where that thing comes. You get it as a reward. 30 stars in that storyline and you will get this thing as a reward. The uh, 1965 Mustang, uh, nothing special about it. You can even buy it in the auto show. The same goes for the Anglia and the uh, older ports. 1940, the Super Deluxe Wagon and uh, the 1932, uh, which was a bond point in Hot Wheels, Forza Horizon 3. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a uh, sedan from the old days, let's put it that. But uh, you can also make a hot rod of it if you tune this thing. Uh, those are possibilities. The Ford F100 uh, pickup. The fact that I have a livery on it means that I use it. The fact that I have a hard on it means that it's one of my favorites. That means it has a reason. Yeah, this thing is uh, pretty good in drift. It's one of those cars that can actually smoke the scores of uh, some of the drift formula drift cars which are next in the list here we have some those most of my scores I've set with the uh, Dodge Piper but uh, later on had to reconsider that because we had to use the uh, pickup truck and we beat some of the Viper scores with it so uh, if you're into drift zones want to have a look at that uh, the Vandura <coughs> yeah uh, more or less common wheel spin I guess the Hennessy Venom um, 1.2 million, but uh, I don't see it on my list here, which means uh, you can also get it in the auto show. Although it says legendary, strangely enough. Uh, let's, uh, the list is not complete yet, but uh, I got a list here with uh, things that you can not find in the auto show, and so that's why I'm going over this car list now. Uh, Holden, those are things that you can buy in the auto show, uh, but I also want them in the uh, wheel spins. Then we come to uh, Honda. Uh, let's have a look. You have the Honda Civic Type R 2004, which is more or less the only one that you can um, win from wheel spins and not uh, buy that thing. And uh, as you can see here, I do not have the 2004. So all of these six Hondas that I have here, the Civic 2016, the 2015 uh, Ridgeline uh, Trophy Truck, the 2009 uh, Honda S2000, the CRX, another Civic Type R. 1979 and a 2007 
all from wheel spins. You can also buy those things. Uh, the only thing not available to buy is the 2004. Now we come to Hoonigan. Uh, that is pretty simple. Um, the Twerk Stallion, the Bel Air and the Napalm is things that you can just buy in the auto show and also win from the... Uh, Oh no, the no uh, according to my list, the Napalm you cannot buy. You can buy the Twerk Stallion and the uh, Bel Air. The Napalm is one it's only available in wheel spins, uh, according to the list here. And this uh, RWB Porsche 911 Turbo uh, from Hoonigan is coming from uh, the cross... Uh, no, the street scene. Um, it's in, you have like the road series, you have the dirt series and you have the... Uh, Cross country and the street scene. This is the last one that you get in uh, street scene campaign. Let's call it that. Uh, I think you need to reach level 17 to get it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this is all uh, wheel spin. You can buy it. Hyundai as well. Same goes for Infinity. Q50, Q60. International Scout. Then we come to uh, Jaguar. Do we have a uh, few specials in Jaguar? Um, yeah, here or there I think. Uh, let's have a look on the list. Yeah, we have uh, this thing the 2015 XKRS GT That is uh, the last car that you get if you go through um, I think the road series if I'm not mistaken you get a uh, Lamborghini Hurricane the Porsche Cayman GTS and then uh, the last one is this uh, Jaguar the F pace the F type R uh, are coming from wheel spins, but you can also buy them in the auto show the same goes for uh, J220 XFRS and the XKRS, the XJS. The lightweight E type, um, it's wheel spin. It's a 10 million car, but uh, I got this from a wheel spin when I bought the 2 million house for the uh, fast travel. It comes with uh, a bunch of uh, super wheel spins, and uh, that's where I won this thing. The E type S1 is uh, also normal wheel spin, uh, as far as I know. And the same goes for the uh, Mark II. And the XK120. Uh, James Bond pack is uh, obviously a VIP edition. Then we come to uh, the Jeeps. Uh, the Renegade and the uh, Wrangler are uh, normal wheel spins. You can also buy them in the Auto Show. The Trailcat is um, the first car that you get if you go through the Cross Country series. And uh, the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk is the second one. Uh, in that cross country series, if you go through the campaign, uh, the only thing that is not in the auto show is a 2014 Grand Cherokee SRT, uh, which I do not have yet, as you can see, it's only available in wheel spins. The Kia Stinger, uh, it's something you can buy in uh, auto show. This is a uh, Agera RS VIP pack. Xbo can win on the uh, on the wheel spins. The Aventador 2016, um, you cannot get in the auto show, so you need to get it from the uh, wheel spins, and it's also available if you play Team Adventure. Uh, I think it is linked to League 5, so if you um, if you make it to League 5, you will actually get this car. If not, uh, then you need to hope to get it from a wheel spin. The Hurricane is the first car that you get in the road series if you go through the campaign. The Urus is uh, a wheel spin. Same goes for this one. The Contact, yep. That, uh, I think I only won this like yesterday or so. 2012 uh, Aventador Forza Edition. Obviously uh, only available in the wheel spins. Super wheel spins more specifically, I think. Uh, these three Lancias here. Delta, uh, Stradale and Stratos. Nothing uh, special about it, I think. Uh, let me have a look. Nope. Not about the Stratos, but uh, this Delta... Uh, also not, but there is a 1992 Lancia Delta uh, HF Integrale, and that is only available in wheel spins or um, in the Team Adventure. If I think it's linked to uh, League 10 or League 15. If you reach that, you will get the uh, Delta uh, HF. Land Rover, um, the Range Rover Sport SVR is one of the starter cars uh, in the Cross Country series. You get, uh, you can get. To pick one of the three, and uh, this is one of those three. I picked that as my starter cars. Uh, all the rest is uh, just normal wheel spins. Um, 
This Range Rover 1973 is uh, a barn find. Uh, we found it uh, yesterday at, uh, as the winter season barn find. And then uh, Series 3 Forza Edition is... Uh, I won it in the wheel spin uh, last week or so. But it's also available this week in the Forza Ton shop to buy for 300 points. You can always buy a Forza Edition and you can buy the real Forza Ton reward. Which this week is the uh, Chevrolet uh, Colorado. But you can also buy this one if you have enough points. The Lola. Uh, also that I won. Wheel spin. Then we come to uh, Lotus. Um... We have a Lotus 211 and a Lotus Elise 111S. Uh, those are the only two Lotuses which are uh, not in the auto show. You, so you need to get them from the wheel spins. Uh, other than that, anything special? This is all wheel spin. Yeah, the Elise GT1 is a barn find, but uh, all the rest is just normal wheel spins. The MX-5, Miata, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, you have a bunch of those different years. Uh, I have the 2016, the 2013 and... Uh, the 1994 but there are even more uh, available 2005 here as well so there are already four in the garage um, that's all just wheel spins you can buy them in the garage uh, in the auto show um, the RX-7 the Spirit RX-7 Spirit is a VIP car pass uh, and all the rest is just uh, as far as I know normal wheel spins or just buy them in the auto show the McLaren, that's something that I did buy. It's one of those three cars that I did buy. Uh, the Senna, you cannot get them. The other two, 650S, 570S, normal wheel spins. Same goes for uh, all these uh, Mercedes. Uh, there is the uh, 2013 E63 AMG. For one reason or another, it's not available in the auto show. So you can only win it in the wheel spins. That is uh, more or less where we are with Mercedes. Uh, other than that, nope. Nothing uh, special about it. Mercury, wheel spins, the same goes for the Manx. Uh, the MGB GT is uh, a barn find. The Mini Cooper, um, uh, wheel spin and also auto show, I think. The same goes for 2009. The 2012 uh, John Cooper Works GP is uh, only available in wheel spins, not in the auto show. So that's also uh, one of those. They basically are the uh, Horizon editions uh, from Forza Horizon 3, which are in the wheel spins and not in the auto show. Uh, that's more or less what I make of it. Which also means that uh, this Morgan three wheeler and uh, Super Sports are just available from wheel spins. The same goes for the Morris. Then we come to uh, Nissan. Uh, uh, a few exceptions here. The Sentra Nismo is a VIP car pass. Uh, we got it last week. 2017 is just uh, a wheel spin. The Titan Warrior Concept Forza Edition is uh, VIP. It's one of those three cars that you get uh, if you buy for like uh, appreciation for buying the VIP package. You get the uh, this Titan. You also get the uh, Zonda R and then the uh, Transit Van uh, in Forza Edition. Uh, all of those three. We also have a normal Titan, as you can see, but that's just uh, available in the auto show, I think. Same goes for most of the rest. Um, the R390, yeah, I missed it a couple of times, so it is definitely available, but you can buy it because I bought it. It's one of those three cars that I bought. I will show you later why. Uh, well, I can immediately show you why, because in this car, in the perks, uh, there is this thing. The Nismo GTR LM Forza Edition. Uh, as far as I know, not available in the... Uh, wheel spins so you need to get this car out of this car and I will show you later uh, how to do that or where to find that uh, The rest is all uh, normal except for this R34 The R34 is the first rewards car that you get uh, if you play through the street scene uh, campaign thing So uh, that's where that comes from All of these uh, Sylvia's and such are uh, available in the auto show even to buy uh, the non Forza edition of that Nismo GTR LM is something you can win in the wheel spins, but you cannot buy it in the auto show. So also the normal one is more or less a special one. You need to get it from the wheel spins. The rest is uh, all available in the auto show. The Noble uh, comes from a campaign again. Uh, which one was it again? Let me check. Uh, it's PR stunts. It's either Danger Signs or Speed Trap. If you do all of them on three stars, you will get that thing. 
This is uh, available in Toyota Show, the Oldsmobile, a uh, game for go uh, Opel Manta, same story. Zonda R Forza Edition, VIP reward uh, for buying that uh, thing. The pill is a barn find. Uh, I've done a uh, Goliath yesterday with the pill, in stock version, as it is here. D100, lowest level available in the game. Uh, it took me about 35 minutes to do Goliath <laughs> in this thing. Don't ask me why I did that, but yeah. One of those things that we do sometimes. The Penhall Shala is um, the last reward if you go through the Cross Country series campaign. The 205 Turbo 16 uh, Forza Edition is uh, a wheel spin. And also, uh, yeah, it's Forza Ton Edition, so you can only get it from wheel spins. But uh, I think, wasn't it uh, available? Last week in the Forzaton shop either. So I think you can also bought it with Forzaton points last week. I think that was... Uh, first week it was the Bentley. Uh, this week it's the Land Rover. And last week it was uh, this one I think. The Plymouth is a uh, auto show wheel spin. Same goes for the Polaris. Uh, Pontiac. Um, most of them can be bought in the auto show. Except for this one. The 1973 Firebird Trans Am SD455. It's only available in wheel spins. Then we come to Porsche, uh, which is normally a bit of a different story. Uh, the GT3 RS was the uh, first Forza Ton reward in the first week. Uh, as Same as with the Ferrari 812, I bought two. One for X, one for S2. The 2018 uh, 911 GT2 RS is uh, new to the game. We did not have this version in uh, Forza Horizon 3. But uh, I just won this thing yesterday uh, in a wheel spin. Cayman GT4, GT3 RS 2016, the Panamera, uh, Cayman GTS. The Cayman GTS is, um, let me have a look, road series. Next to the Lamborghini Huracan and the Jaguar XKR SGT, you can also get the Cayman GTS from the road series campaign. Which also means it's not available in the auto show. Uh, all these campaign cars you cannot win uh, or core buy in the auto show. The Macan is uh, just available in the auto show and also uh, wheel spin. Same goes for the 2012. Cayenne. Uh, the 2018 Cayenne um, Turbo, that one is uh, more or less locked to the wheel spins or um, you can win it somewhere uh, else as well. I think in uh, the uh, Team Adventure. It's also leak, uh, linked to the Team Adventure if you go online. Other than that, you need to get it from a wheel spin. Uh, the 911 GT3 2004, you can buy and uh, also win as you see. Because I won them. The 959 uh, Rally Rate is uh, this week's Car Pass car. Next to the uh, 356 uh, Coupe. But that's the one I'm in. That's why it's uh, at the beginning of my list. The Radical uh, RXC Turbo is a pretty damn good car. It's one of my X-Class cars. Um, but that's just available. The Power Ram um, is... Uh, where did it come from? From the Dirt Series. The Dirt Series campaign, if you go through that thing, uh, you can get this one uh, next to the Ford RS200. And the uh, Renault Alpine A110, which is the last one, which I do not have yet, because I haven't done much in the Dirt Series yet. So it's more or less the only uh, car that I'm missing from the campaign. I have done all the Dirt uh, events, let's call it that. But I'm not uh, in that within that series, I'm not high level enough to get uh, the Alpine. Uh, 810. I think I need two more levels or something. So I need to play a bit more dirt events uh, over and over to uh, get that thing unlocked. This is just a uh, yeah, bit of a fun mobile to play around with. You can maybe race against the peel or something. And the BMW Z and stuff like that. Then we come to uh, the Renaults. Um, there are a few editions like this one. Forza edition, obviously uh, only available in uh, wheel spins. The other two Clios, 2013-2010, are just uh, available in the auto show. The same goes for the Megane and the Renault 5 Turbo. There's also a Renault 5 Turbo Forza Edition, uh, which I do not have yet. Of course, that's linked to the uh, wheel spins. The Renault Clio Williams is uh, a street scene, I think. Yeah, It's one of those cars next to the Skyline GTR, R34 and the Hoonigan Porsche. This Renault Clio Williams is uh, more or less in the campaign in the street scene. You go to the street scene, you will unlock it at one point or another. 
2016 RG Anderson uh, Polaris trophy truck uh, is uh, wheel spin and I think you can even buy it. Now we come to the Subarus, uh, all kind of stuff happening there but most of them are just available in the auto show except for the uh, 2004 WRX which is uh, one I do not have yet, only available in wheel spin. The 2015, the 2008, the 2011, uh, 2005, those are just available in the auto show, also in wheel spins, but you can also get them. BRZ the Legacy as well, uh, the 22B SDI is a pawn find, which I completely maxed out and uh, comes it down to S1873 and it's not bad at all. It also comes with winter tires, uh, well basically it means that uh, off-road tires in winter season will turn into winter tires. That's more or less what it comes down to. So uh, some of your cars you might have uh, winter tires available but if you have the race tires on it yeah you will not see it but just go to the uh, tune shop and put the off-road tires on it. If you uh, did not download a tune of course because if you download the tune yeah then the tune is locked and you cannot change the tires. That's, yeah, that's why you have to make your own tunes. But then you have these two uh, Sunbeam Tiger and the Talbo Sunbeam Lotus. Uh, those two things, for one reason or another, uh, are linked to the VIP pass or whatever. Uh, I don't know. It, they were in the game on launch day, so. But for some reason or another, they made it VIP. Don't ask me why. Nothing special about any of those two cars. Toyota has pulled the road cars out of uh, any racing game, but uh, that does not go for the trucks. So uh, we have the uh, Land Cruiser and the Hilux in here and there's also a Baia Trophy truck, which I do not have yet. Uh, the Triumph. Um, the TR3B is a VIP car pass and the Spitfire is a barn find. The same goes for the TVR Cerbera, it's a barn find. The uh, 2015 Ultima Evolution Coupe 1020, uh, if you complete the drag strip uh, campaign, you will get that thing. That's not that hard to do, there are only uh, four events available in drag. Uh, the first one you have to do two times to unlock the second one though, but yeah, five, six races in drag and uh, you will get this thing. The Vauxhalls, pretty simple story, uh, all available from uh, Auto Show or Wheel Spins. Uh, Volkswagen, uh, let's have a look here. The Volkswagen, there are two which are uh, not available in the auto show and that is this 2014 uh, Beetle Global Rallycross and there is also uh, the 2010 Golf R uh, that is the Mark 6 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that one is also not available in the auto show, so you need to get that one. Uh, I do not have that one yet, so uh, need to get that one from the wheel spins. The rest is uh, all available, uh, or should be available, also in the auto show. The Golf R 2014, that's a Mark 7. The Scirocco, the Tuareg, the Golf R 32, uh, that's a Mark 4, 2003. The Mark 3 for the 1998. Mark 2, Mark 1, so basically uh, you have all the Mark series of the Golf, uh, unless maybe 5 not, 2006, 2007, something like that, but I'm pretty sure it will be in the game somewhere. The Corrado, yeah, I needed a retro head hot, hot hatch to uh, complete the weekly challenge, so an older Scirocco as well. And then we have a couple of Beetles, uh, the Desert Dingo, the Class 5 uh, Bayabuck and uh, a 1963 uh, uh, more or less, yeah. Beetles all over the place. The Type 2 Deluxe Forza Edition, uh, I won that from a wheel spin. I've read somewhere that it's VIP uh, uh, entry reward, let's call it that, next to the Zonda and the Titan and, and the Transit Van. Uh, that is not true. I did not uh, receive this as a uh, reward of the VIP pack. It's just uh, I want it in, this, in, uh, in the wheel spin. Volvo truck. Also that I want in the wheel spin. The same goes for uh, all the other Volvos. None of them are uh, anything special. And the wheelies cheap. 
I think it's something you uh, get in a wheel spin here or there as well. The Zenvo is uh, linked to one of the stories. Um, I think that's to the business. To the business that you can buy. Uh, also there you need to get 30 stars. If you have 30 stars you get uh, the Zenvo. That is more or less uh, going through the cars. Um, oh yeah. Uh, let me show you what I mean by uh, the, uh, the tree thing. For those who don't know yet, uh, we need Nissan. So we have this uh, R390 and we have this Nismo. But this car is in this one. So I will show you quickly. You get in the car. And then uh, you need to get. Uh, let me have a look. Where is it here? Garage. Can't even find anything here. Upgrades and tuning, I think you need to click. Yeah. And then you have the. Uh, car mastery here if you click on that and as you can see I did not even put bother to put all the perks on this uh, R390 you just work your way up to this top thing here and that costs you 25 perk points and then you get the GTR LM Forza edition um, there are other cars out there of these Forza editions which you have to do in this car mastery thing um, let's have a look uh, let me think Maserati we need oh Lamborghini as well that's where we will come that Lamborghini the Lamborghini Reventon has a Forza edition and uh, to get that you need to go through that mastery tree as I just shown you and to do that uh, you need this car the Miura P400 is available for 1 million you can buy that car and in the tree of that car you will find a Reventon uh, Forza edition uh, Maserati. The Maserati is a, a little bit of a different problem. This MC12 has a Forza edition, which is pretty good. Uh, it's uh, considered one of the best on Goliath. Uh, people have been doing tests. The Senna is pretty fast, but this thing is faster. So uh, you want to get the uh, Forza edition car from that thing. And you need to find it in the mastery perk tree of this car, uh, which is a bit of an expensive thing. The Maserati 300S costs 6 million and in that car is uh, the Forza Edition version of the MC12. Now, uh, there's one thing I need to mention though, because a lot of people uh, get fooled by that. A lot of people have bought these cars and then they took out the Maserati MC12 Forza Edition and then they put these cars on the auction house. And then you have like a, a few of those bright lights that go to the auction house and see if they can pick up this 300S for cheap. Uh, but you can only claim the Forza Edition car once. So most of the things that you're going to find in the auction house, if you buy this thing for, let's say, it's available for a million, that's, that would be a great deal, since it's, the original price is 6 million. Yeah, there might be a chance that uh, the Forza Edition car in the mastery tree is already claimed. If it's claimed by the uh, first owner, yeah, then you cannot get it. But yeah, you might be lucky. Some kid out there might not know what he's doing. Doesn't like this car for some reason or another and puts it on the market for 2-3 million. And somebody buys it out there might be still a Forza edition car in it but uh, yeah that's risky business let's put it that way uh, there are others though um, Mercedes let's have a look uh, this SL 65 AMG black series also has a Forza edition car uh, which also you need to get out of a tree uh, but I'm not 100% sure I think it's out of this one but it would be more sense out of this this one costs 8, eight million so uh, I think it's this one so you sort of get this SL 65 out of this 300 SL so uh, 1.2 million and in the tree of that one you will find the Forza edition car of this one uh, was there another one? Uh, uh, yeah, I think there was one more, but... Uh, oh yeah, you have the uh, the TBR Cigaris. Uh, which I think is just a car that you can buy. If not, then you can get it like uh, from the wheel spins. TBR, yeah, here we go. The Cigaris has a Forza Edition car, but uh, if you buy this car, which I can do uh, if you want quickly, that will uh, quickly show you how it, how it do this thing. Uh, don't bother about the colors just put a color on it there we go select it so this this car is costing you 86,000 you can also win it from a wheel spin of course
there we go. And then we have the car. Now we have the normal one. Now if you go to your garage, you can click on upgrades. You have this mastery thing here. And we need to be there. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to unlock one point. We're going to go to the right, which will put the multiplier to uh, six for skills and such. So we spent uh, three points now. Now we go up. That's three points for this one. So that's six points. Five points for this one. That's 11 points. And this thing cost 99 points. So for 110 points, we can buy the Forza Edition car, which you have just done now. If you go out, you go into the garage, you check your cars, you look for TBR. You will just see that you have the Forza Edition, which uh, the TBR cigars, which we are in. And we now have a Cigaris Forza Edition. Which comes with speed skill in our garage. So that is pretty much how you do it. So the GTR uh, LM Nissan is in the uh, R390. This TBR Cigaris Forza Edition is in the normal one. Uh, you have the Maseratis in the 300S. And you have the uh, SL65 AMG Black Series which is in the 300SL. And then you have, uh, what was the other one? Was one more. Uh, yeah, I went over it uh, through the story. There are like four or five which are like, that's sort of the way you need to uh, find them. And uh, that is about it. The Aston Martin Vulcan uh, Forza Edition, in theory you can win from the wheel spin, but it's also uh, linked to the Team Adventure Forza Edition car that is. And yeah, uh, that's sort of it. Other than that, uh, not much cars about, except for the um, 2018 Honda Civic Type R, which will be uh, next week's Forza Ton reward. Just like we had the uh, 2019 Porsche 11, uh, 911 GT3 RS in the first week, and the Ferrari 812 Superfast in the second week. This week it's Chevrolet Colorado pickup, and next week it will be the Honda Civic Type R 2018. Those are uh, more or less all the cars for November and uh, towards November. And then after the spring, which will be, uh, I think it's spring finishes on October 25th or so. Then you will get like the first update with uh, the track creator and uh, all that kind of stuff. That was it. Two weeks into the game. A bunch of cars um, available. Let's have a look. 321 cars. Unique cars. I don't have any doubles in the garage. so. But some of them are linked to wheel spins only. Some of them are linked to campaign only. So uh, you cannot get those in the auto show. That's why I sort of want to do a pretty long video on just cars. But uh, going through the garage and more or less explaining where they all come from. Or where to get them. I will see you guys in the next one. And bye for now.